U.S. retail sales held steady in July. A new report today from the Commerce Department. Retail purchases relatively unchanged after rising nearly 1% in June. So the data shows sales of other goods rose in nine of 13 categories last month, including food, building materials, and electronics. But inflation, of course, still causing severe hardship for American families with food, housing, other necessities all fall far more expensive. So today's news comes as Target's quarterly earnings plunge sinking 90%. So here to talk more about the retail numbers and Target's losses, News Nation business contributor Lydia Moynihan. Lydia, thank you so much for joining us. 90%. Ninety percent lower than expected. How did Target so miss the mark just a day after Walmart beat quarter two expectations? It was a pretty precipitous drop, and it's interesting just to look at those two different stores, Walmart and Target. I think they'd have kind of a similar story. And I, I do want to note ahead of all of this, about a month ago, Target and Walmart both slashed their profit expectations for the beginning of the year. Now, pro, uh, Walmart actually exceeded its profit expectations, but they noted some very similar things to what Target is experiencing. Walmart noted that a lot of people are just buying fewer discretionary items like televisions and clothes that have previously buoyed their profits. What Target said is that they have also been impacted by inflation, but they said they were dealing with a glut of excess inventory. So they bought up a lot of goods that people wanted during the pandemic, like loungewear and home goods. And this quarter, they said it was sort of an investment in their future to put all of those items on sale, clear out the inventory from the stores, and they won't have to deal with that problem moving forward. So they said the rest of the year should be a lot better for them, but that this was just sort of a rough quarter for them, but they are now teed up to hopefully uh, have a much more profitable rest of the year. Yeah, that's certainly a rough quarter. Um, okay, lady, we also want to talk oil prices. Uh, those keep falling, uh, a new six-month low today, but is that good news? Well, saving money, I think, is always good news, and I'm sure people will be very glad to have a little extra money in their pockets now to pay for all of the groceries and the other products that continue to, to be affected by inflation. But I, I think what's concerning here is that, again, any economic issue is about supply and demand. And so what economists say is that it's really just demand that has plummeted for oil and that not as many people are going on road trips. People are trying to pare back their spending so they're not traveling as much. They're not buying as much gasoline. So the concern, of course, is that once people actually do start traveling more, maybe they go on a one more road trip before the summer's over. Um, as a result of that, you might see those gas prices spike because we've not addressed the underlying issue of supply. We don't actually have any more gas, really, than we did a few months ago. So certainly good news in the short term, and um, it's unclear at this point. Hopefully we can sustain it as long as possible, though. Yes, yeah, sir. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.